Howdy folks, my name is Miles Gleason and I'm the Creative Project Manager on the brand team here at Coda. Today I will be walking you through how I use Coda to manage the projects on our brand team to ensure projects get completed on time while equipping the creatives with everything they need to do what they do best, which is create. Prior to Coda, I had been working for a branding agency for around four years, and I learned the ins and outs of ensuring that projects came in on time and on budget, while fostering an environment that met at the intersection of beauty and strategy. If you're a creative project manager, you know that striking this balance is key to enabling the team with what they need to create, while ensuring that the project is completed on time and resources are maximized. On the creative side of things, it's important you have everything you need for a project at your fingertips in an easily digestible way, so you're not having to chase information down, such as specs and creative direction. That's what I love about Coda. I can have everything I need as a creative project manager, and the creatives have everything they need all in one place in an easy to use project and forecasting hub. So let's go ahead and dive into the template here. To start out, I have our project list. And within this project list, we can see all the upcoming projects for the next, the upcoming days, weeks, months, etc. And we have it organized by the DRA, the, the creative that is directly responsible for the project. Here we can quickly see the project name, priority, the due date, status, the stakeholder that's spearheading the project. We also have this info column where we can see everything about that project in one place. And I'll show you a little bit more about that within the creatives dashboards. So you'll see that we have this column labeled this week's priority. And when that is checked, that actually sends the project to the, the individual creatives dashboard. So let me show you with Polly's dashboard. So here we see Polly's priorities for the week. So she's working on the Instagram social posts and the awareness campaign launch. We also see her to-dos. So her to-dos for that day, the project manager can add in, Polly can add in, makes it easily accessible for her. Now, if you actually click this card, here you can see all the information for that project. So for example, you can put in the creative brief, uh, you can store notes, and you can easy, easily truncate them using this expand feature to where everything stays clean and easily digestible. We have a section for art specs, um, such as pixels, resolution, anything that the creative needs to know all in one place. So they're not digging for it throughout everywhere in the internet. <laughs> um, we've got feedback. So as you have design iterations, um, you can place all the feedback for that project here. And again, that just ensures that all the feedback is in one place and you can see what you received throughout the different iterations of the project. And then finally, this final creative link. Uh, so once the project is completed, you can place the link there so that it's accessible in the future as needed. Now we've gone through the project list and we've gone through the dashboards, but what the tool that actually equips us to know what projects are upcoming, how we hit deadlines, et cetera, is this project forecasting tool. So within here, we select the planning week. So for example, if it's this week, we can select the drop down for this week. And then we scroll down here and we see the team bandwidth for this week. Here at Coda, we plan for 34 hours of creative time a week. And so this table actually is able to um, do the math on what the bandwidth is for that creative that week. So we can see, for example, Polly is at 100%. And it looks like Alan may have some room. Um, he's got a little bit of bandwidth. If we scroll down here, we can see the projects forecasted out for the upcoming this week and upcoming weeks. We can see the project. We can see the days of work that the creative is scheduled to work on those items. And we can see the amount of effort that the creative is planning on spending on that. And I work really closely with the creatives to estimate that out, adjust for real time um, as needed. Now, the great thing about this too, is this is drag and drop. So let's say for, for example, maybe Polly is gonna take on the iconography suite. I can actually grab this and I can drag it to Polly and now it's been added to her plate. And what's neat about that is now we can come back here and look at the bandwidth and we can quickly see, oh, Polly's oversourced. Maybe she has too much on her plate. What can we do to give Polly some breathing room? And we can also see that Alan, Alan has some bandwidth. Um, he's got some room for projects. Um, this is also handy that as you have upcoming weeks, let's say it's a new quarter and you're ready to um, forecast out for the next few weeks, you can add weeks and add the project to forecasting. 
And now we have a few weeks ready for Polly that we can go ahead and add in her upcoming projects to forecast. Next, we have the quarterly reports. Um, these, you can quickly pull reports of, of the projects, project load, projects per quarter, um, et cetera, so that you can always be digesting and pulling reports um, to best set up your creatives for success, while also understanding what type of projects are coming in. Lastly, we have the project archive. So let's say that the Instagram social post has been completed. If I check this done box and say, already it's done, if we head to the archive, here is the Instagram social post and it's it's archived. So that way we would have the creative final link here. We could easily access it. We could look at the historicals of the information for that project and you can easily search for those. So it just makes it really easy to always have access to those projects as needed. That's what I have to show for y'all today. Um, hopefully this is helpful as you are working with your creative team, both for creative project managers and designers. Uh, there is a template up on our gallery. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And we're excited to see what you do as you plan your projects. Thanks.